good morning everyone today we are headed on a little road trip i've got some crochet bits with me i'm going to see how much i can crochet while i'm a passenger princess and we're gonna first stop off to get some breakfast it's currently 7 a.m because we've got about a four or five hour journey in front of us and see where the road takes us well hopefully up to our destination that's kind of the aim of the journey <laughs> Look at him doing manly things. You're so handsome. We got breakfast wrap. That looks good. Oh, that actually looks good. Hello? Is anybody there? Good morning. How can I help? Roll out, please. I have please. my camera right yeah. No, you're good. Answer. No, that's perfect. That's a lot of crap. You have our protection of this. Cheers. These guys look so happy. <laughs> Should I say it's like a really nice compliment? Prime of God. What should I say? This out. Your hair looks really nice today. What, hair. in a hair yeah, 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 sure. <laughs> No, please. No, please, though. Fast food, my ass. <laughs> I'm nearly at 19,000 subscribers. Jeez, honey. Morning. More, yeah, more. Yeah, I give you. In the bag, yeah? Yeah, thank you. Have a lovely day. You She's didn't, scary. She didn't say about the hair. No, yeah. Oh, I panicked. You didn't say about the hair. No, and she looked quite scary, so I thought I'm not going to get punched <laughs> by a lady in McDonald's today. Oh, actually, you might have found where I was going. So, in today's video, guys, Pete and I are heading up to the Lake District, and it's a pretty exciting reason why we are looking at wedding venues. We just got engaged back in March 2024, and this is our first time having a look at wedding venues. We've kind of got our hearts set on the Lake District. Not only is my mum's side from up here, but also it was the location of our first ever weekend away together. And this is exactly where we got engaged to. So there's so many connections to the Lake District and hence why we are making the journey up there today. I thought it would just be super cool to bring you guys along with me. I know I normally focus on doing tutorials, but it's been really fun to grow my community and get to know you guys more and finding out that you guys want to see more of my vlogs. So I thought this was a really good chance to give my new GoPro a try and also film a bit of what traveling with Pete and Nikki kind of consists of. We challenge ourselves to stick our tongue out every time we finish the sentence. It's lit. I cannot sleep, I lost the love I couldn't keep forever. <laughs> the stars up above. Would it really matter if I never close my eyes at all? Cause I need way to patiently. I don't want to play the whole song in case I get oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. copyrighted by you. It's an example of one of Pete's songs, it's very good. I mean, why? Road trip entertainment. People say why. I say why not? Sun's out, got coffees and McDonald's on the way to Windermere with my bestest buddy. Oh, that was so awkward. Bestest buddies? Hope you burn your dad. <laughs> okay, so I've packed some yarn. Let's see what I've packed for our road trip in um in a super dry bag that I randomly found. It's not super dry, is it? Super drug. Super drug. Not sponsored by super drug, by the way. I've got quite a few options with me. It's nice to have options, isn't it? But I haven't actually brought as much as I normally would. Normally I literally pack loads and then don't touch any of it. My plan is, at the moment I am making this cute little guy. I'm not gonna reveal what he's supposed to be just yet, but it's obviously my classic little floppy body. Need to sort all the loose ends up. But if I can get his head done, at least by the end of the maybe the car journey if not the end of the weekend that would be cool so I've got some of the rest of the pink fluffy yarn with me I've also got some grey fluffy yarn some black fluffy yarn and some normal beige chenille so not too much with me but loads of options if I get bored the main thing is I literally will start one project and then get a bit bored of it move on to the next one go back to that one and I think I just need a new tactic of just sticking with one project so I don't actually end up bringing all this stuff with me. Obviously, stuffing, stuffing, safety eyes, crochet hook and needles, stitch markers, the essential. We've got, oh, some coffee and I should have, oh, some more coffee here. Also, I've got 
another coffee. <laughs> oh, my hairbrush is in here. But yeah, so not too much, but I've got loads of plans if I can fit it in. I've never actually crocheted properly on a car journey before. So I'm kind of nervous to see if I get like travel sick or something. I know I see loads of people that do these road trip vlogs and they get like motion sickness while concentrating. We'll see how that goes and we'll see how much I get done. We've got three hours, 20 minutes left to go and we'll be boogieing, boogieing the whole way, listening to Pete's new, Pete's album's just dropped 26th of July. So go check that out. It looks like this. I'll put a little picture of it here um, and it's really good. So go check it out. That's a nice little plug, little butt plug. Oh, stop. into the journey it's been a good run so far but we've now hit 20 minutes of traffic so we've got an hour and a half left this is my progress so far travel sickness wise I'm actually doing okay I've had a good technique of like keep looking up every few seconds to avoid the motion sickness but I've actually not found it too bad it's been nice um, jamming the only thing I did find quite difficult was sewing while you're moving I kept going into like the wrong bit and um, having to redo that all like the yarn would fall out of the needle so that was kind of annoying but this is my progress so far I've got his head on his ears got on so now I'm just debating whether to make him a little muzzle I also realized I didn't bring any um, of like the black thin yarn to like do the details so he won't actually be finished this weekend I'll have to finish him off all the details when I get back but so far how cute is he also I don't know if you can see it can you see all the fluff <laughs> this is the current state of my leggings so far when working with this fluffy yarn it's not looking good we're stopping at service station just quickly get some snackies and a loo break um, I've just realised I can't keep crocheting with this Apple Watch on because apparently I've done 3,000 steps. <laughs> oh, wow. Just this morning while sat in the car for three hours. So pretty good workout so far. <laughs> <laughs> We're cutting that. No, Apple, if you're watching this, you need to develop a, what's it called? Feature and it knows I'm crocheting and not stepping. to get quite a lot of crocheting done while we were traveling to our first wedding venue destination 
The first venue we went to look at was called Full Barrow Hall in Windermere and it was so cool. It was just so different and it was basically a huge manor house right in the centre of Windermere. It had so many different rooms like libraries and different sort of rooms. It had its own cocktail bar that you can see here and it was just simply huge. It could keep up to 36 people so it had 20 plus rooms all included in this one manor house. She did say the history of it but I honestly, to be fair, didn't take it in because I was just literally so taken aback by the venue. We had a look all around and it took us honestly half an hour to see the whole house. It was set so close to Windermere Lake as well, so all the views were of beautiful scenery and clear skies. We got to look at loads of the different types of rooms that were available, including the bridal suite, which was enormous like and it literally just made me so excited to kind of visualize the day and getting ready on the day in this huge huge room so like i said this is the bridal suite and literally look how huge it is so much room and the bathroom was just insane and so sparkly clean it was recently renovated i think 18 months ago and honestly the interior designer has done an amazing job of making it really modern but also upcycling the old furniture and keeping it to its roots as well and best of all the place had a basement filled with a pool table and a table tennis literally a perfect place for people to chill and enjoy games and things together so we were super super impressed and we literally loved this place so much especially as you could have the civil ceremony within the dining room and rearrange the chairs but also then stay for up to a week with all the friends and family as well We've made the mistake of seeing the venue we were most interested in first because now it set such high expectations. We went and saw another one after, but again, I think because we just had seen that incredible one beforehand, it just didn't live up to it. It was a really nice venue, but yeah, not definitely not our kind of vibe. We wanted it to be nice and chill and just everyone to have a nice time and just drinks and things like that rather than the classic typical sit down formal wedding so you can actually be married on the lawn oh you can yeah okay we can be married in the shack at the top oh cool we managed to see quite a few venues but the other one that was one of our top favorites of the day was long acre barn just outside of penrith and hopefully these videos do it justice because it was simply beautiful it was a renovated project done in lockdown and the lady was so lovely in accommodating whatever style or type of wedding you want you really could put your individual twist on your wedding day so this was our one of our top favorites as well after our long day of looking at loads of different venues we then headed to our accommodation for the weekend which was our airbnb converted barn and look how cute this is they've done it so well I loved all the little tiny details and just how cosy it was. It matched our weekend cosy vibe so well and we just settled in straight away. Lovely summer's day. <laughs> Running. Oh, jeez. Good morning, guys. So you can probably hear the amount of rain on the car right now, but 
We are still heading out to Windermere today. We had such a lovely day yesterday. It looked at so many venues and fell in love with quite a few of them. So it's gonna be difficult to decide which one we're gonna end up with. Um, if we do end up with any at all. We had such a lovely evening as well. We were both so, so tired and Pete especially from all the driving he did yesterday, but we ended up literally just watching some movies, having a really nice chilled one. And this morning again, super chilled. Bonjour. So for you guys in America, this is what the UK normally looks like. So we both really liked Full Barrow Hall which is a mouthful to say, isn't it? Or Barrow Hall. Then Long Acre Barn was our next contender. Just because, again, it was just so different and unique and you can make it proper individual. So you could have it outside, you could have it at a festival, you could have it in the barn. You literally could just say how you wanted your wedding to be. Yeah, quite good ones, weren't they? Yeah, it's a full Barrow Hall. For those geeks out there, it was basically like... A castle. A castle or Harry Potter's... A manor. Yeah, Harry Potter's crib. So everybody could be in the same under the same roof. The rooms were all modern, but we were still keeping the like shabby chic sort of look. It was just a it was a vibe. It was a real vibe. There was a pool table. And there yeah. was a hot tub. There was like games rooms. Games rooms. There was a, a cocktail a bar, bar, a library, a cinema. Like yeah, come on, we wouldn't need to leave the place. The only issue we have with all of these, as soon as you put wedding in, in the title or the search or any. Everything's double. Freaking double. <laughs> so if you guys would like to join her Patreon to pay for our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> Please buy my pants. <laughs> so today we're going to go and have a look at some jewellery shops. We kind of had to edit our day a bit because of the rain. But we got in our first holiday, we went and got this cute little like leaf ring on our very first holiday. And that was from a jewellery shop in Windermere. So we're going to try and find that one again and look for some wedding ring inspirations which is super cool i don't know how i'm going to be with wearing a ring constantly like, I know. anything i wear constantly is my chain and my watch is it a big thing for a guy to wear a ring like is it like a, a girl will look at that and be like i own him now that's my mark so if i was to ever take my ring off would you be like uh, what are you why doing? would you take it off no i'm just saying like say it was annoying me or why, why would it annoy you well then you've answered my question Hold on a minute, you didn't you lost your ring yesterday. I didn't, I took it off for the shower. You're so dramatic. What is this? This is called a bridge. Cool. They help you get from one side to another. Nice. They tend to be over bodies of water. That was fun. How cool was that? That was really cool. So guys, this is the area called Glen Ridding where Pete and I had our first ever little weekend away. We're about to go past the hotel that we stayed at. Oh look, that's the lake on the inn. Inn on the lake. Lake on the inn? Lake on the inn. I said lake on the inn. Inn on the lake. So busy. So this one here, coming up here, just on the side. This is the hotel we stayed in. Ah, oh, cute. Oh, it's nice to come back. Right, uh, Windermere was an absolute write-off. It was so busy, wasn't it? I'm talking. <laughs> it was... It was so busy. <laughs> Sorry, that is rank. Have a sip of that. Anyway, um, yeah, Windermere was not a successful journey at all. It was super, super busy. For those of you who are ever wanting to go to the Lake District, um, do you not go in summer or July time? Or would half not, term. Would not recommend. It was just absolutely mental. People absolutely everywhere, traffic everywhere. It was not the nice quaint Lake District that we are used to, was it? So, no. also, good information for you guys to know. There are basically no jewelry shops in Windermere either. <laughs> there was one. Um, Shipton and Co, lovely place, um, but basically didn't do many wedding bands. So yeah, that was um, a bit of a failed mission. So we got we asked someone local if they knew of any local jewellery shops or where the best place for jewellery shops is, and they suggested Kendall. So we ended up coming to Kendall, twenty minutes down the road, and it was a lot more successful, wasn't it? Yeah, 
Kendall was good. Kendall, Kendall was a success. We visited about four or five different shops and we had a good try on of loads of different um, rings. Well, I did. I had, uh, I was spoilt for choice. You were a bit more picky with your ring, weren't you? Well, yeah, and like they said, you're going to be wearing this forever, yeah. fingers crossed. So you want to- I like that. Ma manifest. Oh, manifest, yep. So you want to make sure it's a nice one. Yeah. So no, that was really successful and it was nice. We got a little bit of champagne and we were just enjoying the vibes, weren't we? So that was what we kind of were more expecting at Windermere. But if you guys are looking for wedding rings in the Lake District, Kendall's the place to go. I bought myself some cherries. Because they need to know that. <laughs> and if you want if you want cherries, come to Kendall. <laughs> A different day from this morning look at this bright sunshine now so we're gonna have our dinner outside which is super cute let's go back and see what the chef's doing look at that steak oh Ooh. yummy <laughs> managed to finish my grey body which is super cute looking really good I finished the head I this is all the yarn I've got left I'm gonna spoil the surprise but I was trying to make another bunny so I wanted to try and make two type of bunny patterns but just with like adjustable ears but I don't have enough yarn with me I then moved on to the beige and the black fluffy yarn i can't remember if you remember right at the start and i made this foot with its little toes the little toe beans so the next issue i have is i have completely run out of my stuffing so anything i make now i can't fasten off because i won't be able to stuff it i'm gonna be basically ending up with a lot of unfinished projects which wasn't really the aim so i'm gonna have a nap 
for the next two hours. Which... Hey guys, so I'm back home and it's now the next day after a long day of traveling yesterday. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog style video. It's a bit different from my usual things and I'm just trying to shake things up, keep things different to keep you guys entertained. So let me know in the comments below how you found this vlog style video. And bad news, I didn't finish the bunny. Turns out I don't have any more of this specific grey yarn and I don't have a clue what brand it is. Like I've literally looked back on my um, Amazon purchases, my receipts and things like that. And I cannot work out what brand of fluffy yarn this is, or if it is one I have had before, they've obviously changed their coloring because literally none of the gray fluffy yarn I have matches up with this one. That, like I said, is the end of my video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to follow my Instagram for my daily updates of my crochet patterns and things like that. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.